Welcome back to Titans All Access from the Bet MGM studio. We love to go beneath the surface with coach Dave McGinnis, especially when he analyzes linebackers. After all, that was his area of expertise as a football coach. This week, we are with Mac as he watches Harold Landry. All right, today we are going to look at Harold Landry to have 10 and a half sacks in the back end of the season. I mean, Harold Landry has got a special gift, and it's what got him drafted in the second round out of Boston College. This type of a footwork drill is right in Harold Landry's wheelhouse. That's where he makes a living. He makes a living with being able to be, to be flexible, to be able to be sudden, and to be able to have quick feet and balanced feet and intelligent feet. And when I say intelligent feet, he understands. He doesn't waste steps. All right, so you got the big men working. I love watching big men work their feet. This is essential. This is essential. Watch Harold Landry. Look how quick he is, and look how look how how fast he is and smooth. But look how calm he is from the waist down. The other thing about Harold Landry's game, once you get into a team setting, he is always to the ball. He's always to the ball. You know, Denard Wilson always talks about finishing at the football, and it doesn't mean just once the tackle's made. He wants everybody to roll call to that ball. And and Harold Landry's always been one of those guys. Just, just something that you know you may people may never notice. Or what he was stretching, and he's stretching his upper body, because you got to get you got to get your upper body flexible too if you're going to rush the passer. I mean, it's not just it's not just in your lowers. You got to have the weight balanced on the balls of your feet. You don't want to be up on your toes. You don't want to be quivering like a dog getting ready to hit a screen door. What you've got to be able to do is you got to have good balance in your cleats in the ground, but but enough forward lean as to where you can spring out of your of your stance, whether it's two or three point. What's extremely important, you've heard me talk about this on broadcast, you've heard me talk about it uh, on 104.5 when I'm talking about positional evaluations. It's always on defense, it's eyes before feet. If you don't know what you're looking at, there's no way you can get there. It's eyes before feet. So you have to be able to coordinate what you're looking at then with all your movements. And it has to be instantaneous. This is shock and shed. They've got a ball carrier back there. This is a one man shock and shed sled. The ball carriers, they're part of it. They're not going full speed. Again, all of these movements have to become have to become second nature. It has to be second nature. There he oh played he played that perfectly. What you saw him do there, uh, the, the ta tackle number 72 was trying to drive him down past. He he forced everything to move and to move back outside. He maintained his gap integrity and then closed the window. Gap integrity, closed the window. Skim the edge, get to the launch point, stick that inside foot in the ground, come back to him. Great example. 